Hey guys, this is Mike here with Turbo Time USA. I just want to take a minute and uh, kind of show you a little bit about what's going on uh, in the industry and some of the differences between what we do uh, versus what a, many other uh, turbo companies are doing today. Uh, so if you look here, looks like we have a couple of turbos here, right? This will be for your 6, 7, uh, 2007 and a half uh, to 2018 uh, 6, 7 Cummins line. Uh, they look pretty similar, right? Um, basically the same turbo other than, you know, different compressor wheel and different turbines and stuff. Wrong. These are not the same turbo platforms. What you have here is an OEM whole set Cummins turbo platform. On this side, you have a very shiny, very nice looking, very clean, aftermarket import copy VGT turbo. They are very different turbochargers, okay? This will work in your setup, but it is of not the same material and of the same build structure as the OE whole set Cummins platform line. A couple of things that you might notice that are different are the compressor housings. The aftermarket copy uh, does not have um, any insignia or uh, logos or part numbers or anything uh, on the compressor housing. Most importantly is the center housing. If you look at the center housings comparing the two, for the whole set, you will see whole set and part numbers cast into the center housings. You will see them cast on the exhaust housings. They will also be cast on the compressor housings. You will not find those on the aftermarket copy. If you look in those same spots, in those same areas, you will not have the whole set or part numbers cast into the housings on the exhaust or the compressor, or most importantly, the center housing. Now, that doesn't mean that you cannot use an aftermarket housing. Sometimes uh, we have done that on our own builds. Uh, we would have to source um, a supply uh, of aftermarket housings just to have some extra ones. This is not that important. What's really important uh, is the center housing. But that's, that's a very strong way to quickly identify if something is likely built on an aftermarket copy or not. Um, these turbos, the aftermarket copy turbos, they can still run in your truck. That, but that being said, it's simply not of the same caliber, quality, and durability that you get with the OE platform. The material is very different. Um, some of the finish and the machining is often uh, very different. And obviously, a lot of the internals, uh, the material on the internals are very different, even down to like the um, the bands for them uh, are not the same. Oftentimes we see these uh, break uh, fairly easily as well versus the OE bands uh, that we use. So if we take these two turbos, we turn them around, uh, as you will see, uh, you have no casting uh, marks or names or part numbers um, on the aftermarket version versus the OE. But if you look inside here, if you check the turbines out, so on our model, um, ours is a larger uh, 10 blade design. Um, we still use the, the 12 blade design too on certain models. This is our HXR series, so we use a, uh, the larger uh, 10 blade design. Compared to what you see on the aftermarket uh, copy, which still utilizes the smaller 12 blade turbine. Now some companies might change that out, but what we see is that many of them uh, try to market to you that uh, this has a larger uh, turbine by giving you one measurement and not giving you both size measurements. And what that means is they're giving you the measurement that seems large, but it's actually the same uh, on even the larger turbine, but the other side of it is larger, but they don't tell you that on theirs because they're essentially using 
uh, the same stock size in there. And they may just put a little bigger uh, billet wheel design on that. Uh, the benefits that you get from a larger turbine on these VGT systems is you get quicker exhaust expulsion. Uh, so that helps keep your EGTs down a little bit better. Generally, um, guys running uh, a larger uh, like stage two platform uh, with a larger 10 blade turbine, we'll see a drop in EGTs from about 150 to 250 uh, degrees or more, uh, depending on what they're doing. Um, so those are kind of some of the things that you want to uh, look for in examining uh, a turbocharger and seeing what you actually get out of the box. There's a lot of misinformation going around uh, in the industry as well that's been toted by uh, many popular sellers today that, oh, this has an upgraded stainless steel uh, nozzle ring that's going to uh, magically reduce uh, sticking conditions and um, increase the VGT life versus the OE um, hardened alloys that are used uh, from the original manufacturer. This applies both for um, the whole set Cummins uh, VGT design and the vein design. What they try to sell you is that the stainless steel is an upgrade over the original OEM alloy design, which is a very false <laughs> statement uh, to make. Uh, these are cheaper uh, to produce, and there's uh, no evidence um, or indication that these will outlast or uh, avoid sticking uh, over the um, alloys that are used for the original uh, OEM platforms. In fact, these, these materials are even more corrosive resistant um, and resistant to carbon buildup on them. That doesn't mean that that can't happen. Um, many times if you have a poor performing engine or you have a lot of debris uh, left in your exhaust from uh, a previous turbo failure, uh, you can have that debris you replace the turbocharger and sh shortly after you're noticing that the VGT is not working, it's getting stuck, uh, the exhaust brake's not functioning. Uh, what happens a lot of times is that hardened debris comes through the exhaust and it has to flow past these veins and it gets stuck in these veins and along uh, the nozzle casings here and it makes it hard for this nozzle to slide uh, in and out uh, of the space that it needs to operate in. And so then you can have a perfectly good uh, turbo that gets stuck because of debris or other engine issues. We've, we've seen brand new turbos come back with stuck VGT systems because they were installed on an engine that was essentially blown and it was full of sludge and, and carbon right after installing. So it's very important that you understand the condition uh, of your engine and, and your systems before uh, just throwing on another turbo. But this is just to showcase you some, some of the differences that you're gonna get internally between the OE and the uh, cheaper aftermarket uh, turbo imports that are being used by a lot of uh, popular names today uh, without you really understanding what you're getting. What we're trying to do is educate the market and provide them with as highest quality uh, builds for their, for their trucks as, as possible. And as I mentioned before, it's not that these are, are completely failure prone or that they simply won't work, uh, but you are overpaying for a much lesser quality uh, product. And if that's what you're in the market for, uh, that's okay. Uh, but it's really important that you understand what you're getting and what you're paying for and, and know where your product's coming from instead of just blindly following uh, a popular brand or what somebody told you in some forum or some Facebook group. So the unfortunate thing that's happening in the market a lot that we're seeing and we've received certain uh, performance turbos uh, from other companies uh, as cores and or as uh, service requests and it's unfortunate that we are learning that uh, a lot of companies are now building um, their brand on these aftermarket import copies and you're still being charged uh, top dollar um, or maybe you might get a little bit of a discount deal on it but you're certainly paying a lot more uh, for this 
um, and getting less quality than you get from this. And another sort of insider industry secret to that, many of the companies selling you these that are nice and, and painted, uh, nice colors, and they may have, have their, they may put their wheel in there um, and it, it looks nice and it'll still perform um, you know, a little better than your stock turbo, um, but you're overpaying for uh, an under uh, manufactured uh, product. But the funny thing is, is that you may still be charged a core for this. And so what happens with that? That goes, that goes back to that company and it's free money for that company to either hold on to those cores uh, for rainy days and or they just sell them back to the major manufacturer like Holset, Cummins, Garrett, um, and they make ma they make more money on you as the consumer while they successfully perform the bait and switch on you. They start out waving this model in front of your face, and many of them started out building uh, on the OE platforms. This is not just for Holset, Cummins. This is also happening for FOMOCO and Garrett platforms as well for Duramaxes and Power Strokes. Um, we're seeing that, and we'll get into that a little bit further down the line. But <clears throat> they'll wave this one in front of your face, and they started out selling you these built models on these, and then somewhere along the line, about a year and a half, two years ago, uh, they started shuffling these models in and painting them, putting their, their logo and sticker on them, and selling, to, selling them to you. Uh, with no information and no understanding that what you're getting is no longer the same level of quality and cost uh, that you were once uh, used to. So it's a real unfortunate trend that's happening in the industry and we're trying to bring some of that to light so you as the consumer, people in the market that are looking for quality uh, turbo products for your trucks are not getting duped by a lot of popular names in the industry that are simply performing a bait and switch on you and providing you with an inferior product that you overpaid for. So for more information on our products and what we're doing and the advancements that we have going on, be sure to follow us on social media. Uh, visit our website, turbotimeusa.com. Give us a call, 973-558-5181. We'd be happy to talk with you with uh, your turbo needs and uh, see if we can really amplify uh, that performance for your truck. For